All right, guys, let's jump right in. Jamal posted this. Let me make it a little bigger so you guys can read it. Can't seem to get over 10 contacts in three-hour morning call session. I call expires, fizzballs, a lot better results, but there aren't many haven't talked to, just listed, just sold. Hard to get a hold of the right person. Been using Redex for a while and might go back to Mojo. I see a lot of people in my market listing expired last year and so on and so on. What is the problem? Here's the trouble, my friends. Phone, your phone is a lead generation tool. It's getting less and less impactful. You notice that? It's not as powerful as it used to be. Not only people don't answer their phone anymore, we have apps now that block your calls. So phone as your tool as a means to prospect is gonna diminish. It's happening with two things, your phone and email. Do you get like hundreds of emails? I fucking get it, <laughs> come to the office in the morning and my inbox is just flooded with emails and I spend 15 minutes just to clean the damn thing out. That's what most people do. Remember how you behave and what's going on in your life and your business is pretty much what's going on in the life and the business of your prospects and your clients. It's gonna be less and less effective to generate new leads and new business over the phone. That's the bad news. I don't mean to burst your bubble, I don't mean to be the bearer of the bad news, but I got to tell you the truth. And you've been noticing it already. And I'm a big fan of the phone. I like it. I used to generate tons of business using it. But the reality is, it's going bye-bye. And email is right behind it. That's the bad news. So I'm gonna give you some good news. I'm gonna give you five things. Tip number one, use a good data source. It's important, especially now, to have a good, valuable data, good, clean data, especially if you're working for sold by owners and expired listings. Now, we have a relationship, we're in the productions, we have a relationship with Espresso, we like Espresso, I think it's a great system. So if you want a balanced, good quality source of data and budget, you don't want to spend too much money on it, Espresso Origin is the way to go. Just use the code BORINO and they give you a $20, $29 trial. So whether you use Espresso or something else, make sure the data source is the best you can get. So that's number one, make sure you have a good data source. Number two, mindset. And I know it's like, ah, oh, do I need to visualize? Yes. Do I need to really have positive expectations? Yes. It's important, it plays a huge role. If you're going in expecting interesting conversations, reaching the right people, really hitting it off the park where you know you're gonna connect with somebody who needs your help, you're gonna reach more of those people. Don't ask me how it works. I don't understand the forces of the universe, but I do know beyond a shadow of a doubt, when I change my mindset, the world changes. Because of my mindset, because of the energy, because of the projection, because of everything, verbally and non-verbally I was communicating out, I was getting back. So before you start prospecting, before you start cold calling, before you start calling expires, before you do any type of lead generation or follow-up, make sure you're in the right mindset. Like, before I start the live, I can't show you because you have a static camera right now, but I set up my environment so I can talk to you. I'm in the right mindset. I put myself in a good state. I do a little, a little up and down jumping jacks. So I'm in a good energy. I prepare my notes. I have notes before I talk to you, before every live. This is not just like pulling shit out of my ass. And I'm in the right mindset. And if I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm going to connect with you and inspire you, I take my time. That's why I have that counter too. You know what I mean? So make sure you have the right mindset. That's number two. Number three, use alternative channels. There are other ways you can communicate with people and there are channels that are becoming more effective. First, the good old mail is coming back. But there is a reason why you need to incorporate direct mail into your lead generation, branding, expanding your brand awareness, people aware of you, and your follow-up. You can reach high volume of people, especially with repetition, it can be very effective. It should be part of your mix. In addition to that, use other channels, use video. Video is very powerful right now. Social media, are you kidding me? It's awesome. I can broadcast to you guys, this is being watched by thousands of people. A few years ago, only television had a reach the way social media right now. So use it, use other channels. If the phone is diminishing, don't stay rigid, be flexible and deploy other channels. What I always teach you guys is multi-channel approach. Always multi-channel. The more of these channels you open, the better. So that means social media, that means texting, that means email, do the best you can with what you got. That means video. That means good old direct mail. Sometimes personal visits, especially with FISBOs and expireds, high probability, it's an awesome way to build trust and connection. Use a dialer so it can be more effective. Hook up your system to a dialer so instead of just waiting there for one person to answer and sitting and twiddling your thumbs, Fire up a dialer. If you can open up three channels, three lines, four lines, go for it. You're gonna plow through a lot more numbers. If somebody picks up, boom, you have a conversation. Okay? Next, in-house sales agent. Expand your forces. Now, that doesn't necessarily be somebody physically present in your office. I mean, if you can do it, if you can accommodate, that's fantastic. 
But if not, you can outsource that. So now you're expanding lines, number of potential people you're going to reach, and now you're expanding number of people making the calls, and you can hire an entire company for that if you want. I wouldn't go that far, but start with one person. So let me summarize it. Make sure you have good data, the right mindset, use a dialer, use an in-house sales agent, open up other channels. That, my friends, is how in today's world, you're going to get leads, you're going to get clients, you're going to listings. Now, here's the thing. A lot of the agents, new and old, doesn't matter, will not be flexible enough. You have to stay flexible. You have to react. If you see something is not working, don't stubbornly stick with it or don't just quit. Throw your hands in the air and say, well, fuck it, it's not working. Analyze. Analyze. Spend a little time really analyzing what's going on. What can I fix right now? And stay flexible. Because those of you guys who stay flexible, who learn, who improve, who move further, are going to crush it this year. This is the year where you need to deliver your A game. You need to stay on top of it. You need to have the best tools, the best information. You're going to have a fantastic year. And I'm here to help. We open the boot camp. I have an invitation for you. If you want my help to build you a complete system, we're going to do it in four weeks. There are five sessions in four weeks. Come on board. We'd love to have you. Here's the info. It's a four-week live program. I teach it live over the web. We're going to spend building first contact, your tools, your expired package, the dialogues, the mindset, the process, the follow-up, everything, objections, everything for expired. It's a great boot camp. I love teaching it. I teach it a couple times a year, two, three times a year. We'd love to have you. We have a few spots left. Come join us. We're starting March 14th, which is on Thursday. So just go to goburn.com slash bootcamp. There's a video. It's only $197 a month. We tied it in with PATH, which is my ongoing monthly coaching program. Now, you don't have to stay with the PATH. This bootcamp used to be $1,997, $1,997. Last year, we had a whole bunch of people take it. It was great. But I figured if I can combine it with the first chapter of the PATH, you're going to get more value. You're going to learn faster, and it's going to be a lot less expensive. So after that, if you don't want to stay on PATH, no big deal. But it's part of the PATH. So it's $197 a month. Come join us. You're going to get the Expired Plus. It comes with it. You're going to get the book from me. There's an online portion of it. I'll help you build your Expired system. We'd love to have you. Uh, Jesus, good question. Jesus wants to know video text or text. If you can, send the video text. Here's a simple one. You grab your phone, you turn on the camera, and you say, Hey, Joe, this is Borino with ABC Real Estate. I'm really sorry about your house. Kind of bummer it didn't sell. It seems like a really nice house. It'd be interesting to find out why. Anyway, quick question for you. If the right buyer comes along, if we can get you a good buyer willing to pay you a good price, something you would be happy with, would you still be interested in selling? Please text me back. Thank you. Nice and simple. And you send it as a text. Very powerful. You can get fancier. You can pre-record these and you can send them as part of like bomb bomb, really good service, or you can just post them on YouTube as a private link, send that link to them. There are many ways you can do that. But video is very powerful. Very powerful. Way more powerful than the phone used to be because it creates deeper connection, emotion. There's facial expressions. There's face-to-face -face communication that video resembles very strong. So yes, I highly recommend video. I'm a big fan of videos. And if you can get in the habit of creating these short, quick, snappy messages, just a few seconds short, boom, works really, really well. Is pen advertising still a good idea? I don't think it was ever a good idea. I mean, think about it. You put your name on it, right? Would somebody really seriously consider an agent going, well, you know, Martha, this Bob dude gave us this beautiful pen with his name on it. I think we should entrust him with the sale of our $700,000 house. And I know there's a school of thought that says, well, you know, you keep your name in front of them. It's branding. You're the brand. Focus on marketing where you're making an impact. Let me give you an example. You work in expired listings, having a good expired package, very important. Having an eye-catching for sale sign, very important, especially places where you can put your face on. Having a good business card, still important. Having videos, important. Because you have two channels going. You have the active channel where you go out and seek business, and you have passive channel people coming to you. And in between, you're going to pepper it with like social media posts, Instagram posts, videos, text, all that. Boom, flooding it. This is a question, do you leave a voicemail or just keep calling? I would leave a voicemail, short and simple. Now you can use curiosity. Hey, it's Borino calling about your house with ABC Real Estate. Please call me back because it's important. Or please text me back because it's important. Short, no selling, curiosity hook with the magic word because. 
Come join the bootcamp if you haven't already. We'd love to have you guys. Go to goborino.com slash bootcamp. Enjoy your weekend. Go help some people. March is here. The spring market is totally heating up. People are coming out of work. You know those people in November and December last year, even in January, said, we're not ready, we're not ready, we're not ready. Be ready. They are getting ready. So be ready for them. Use these tips. Go help people. Talk to people. This is a people business. You got this. There are a lot of good, cool tools to help you. A lot of information. Come join the bootcamp. We'd love to help you with all this. And with that, my friends, have a lovely Friday night. And I'll talk to you real soon. Coach Gordon signing off. Thank you so much for being here today. I always enjoy chatting with you in this podcast.